What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fillet and skin a 16 pound flathead catfish. Let's go. It's your time. It's your time. Oh. Alright, so here is our flathead that we caught this morning, uh, a couple hours ago. We're going to go ahead and uh, cut them up into steaks. Show you how to do it. So you don't do these like you do um, channel casts. These are a little bit different. You have to kind of cut them up like you would, uh, well, just about any other fish other than the way that I cut up channel cats. I'll put a video uh, up top so you can see how I do that if you haven't saw that. So you're going to look for the shoulder bones here. You can see them. They poke out behind the gills. We're going to cut down there. Just for starters. I should add flathead are one of the only fish in my opinion as they get bigger. Um, the meat stays just as good. It doesn't get um, muddy or anything like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we've got our cut here. Put that down a little bit more. And we're just gonna follow the right beside the fin down the spine, filleting the meat or opening the, the meat up. Trying to get right on that back. This is a big fish, so. Should have used a bigger table, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start just filleting the meat on down. You hear stuff in the background, that's my kiddos. I'll have to go back and trim some of this off. Should have picked a bigger table. Cut this down. Go over the ribs. Most of that off. Now I really need to flip him over to get that belly meat, but we'll do it in a couple different cuts. Is that one fillet? I'm gonna go down here and trim off some of this tail meat if I can get it to level. Try to get all the meat we can off of these. Alright, I'm gonna go for the belly meat now. I'm gonna just kinda go under this rib cage here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the goal. I'm gonna stay tight against the ribs and cut out. Look at that pretty white meat right there. Just cut down. Alright, I'm going to flip him over. Then I'm going to cut up under the belly. Right, even kind of with those front fins. And that big fillet. This is why flathead should be sought after. Alright, cut him on around. I'm going to flip him over. There's a pretty good chunk of meat there that we're going to come back and get. 
All right, now from this point, we'll do the same thing we did on the other side. We'll start here, follow down his back. Make sure you're on the right on the right on the spine. This is pretty difficult because my table is a little bit too small for this big dude. I'll tuck my knife out down there and I'm just gonna fillet it down the tail. And we're just gonna fillet it down all the way. Go over the top of the ribs. Oh, she really should have had a much bigger table. The goal is to try to get this off in one big, uh, one big steak. You don't have to do it that way, but you can't skin them like you do it on my channel cat or you'll waste a lot of meat. All right, so I got this almost down under the ribs. It's taking a little longer than what I, I wanted it to. Cut there. Grab it under this meat. Spin them around. Then we're just gonna go up under the ribs and continue our cut. Try to get all that meat. There we go. And there is all the meat off the flathead with the other um, fillet that we've already got off. I'll move on to this in a second, show you how I'm going to clean that up. Alright, so the one of the best cuts of meat on a flathead are its head steaks. And you can feel for those, pretty much go behind the back of the eye and move your fingers back. You'll feel these hard bones here. There's a pretty good sized steak right here. Some of the best meat on the fish. So just stick your finger in there where you feel it gets soft, right off the center um, here. Just put your knife in and just follow that bone around. Cut towards the eye. You'll go right to the back of the eye. Then once you get started, you can just kind of open it up and get that chunk out. Like I said, this is the probably, this is probably about the best cut of meat on this fish. Or one of the cleanest cuts. I'm gonna just grab there without cutting all the way through. And I'm um, trying to pull that meat off. See that? Great chunk of meat right there. And if you don't cut all the way through the outside of the skin, you can get your finger under there and just kind of peel it out. So that one's done. Do the same on the other side. So now we're gonna move on and clean these um, fillets up. All right, so unlike a channel catfish that you pull all the skin off, as you're doing it on a flathead, you you do it like this and then remove the skin after. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and separate this fillet. This is the side fillet. Just sliding everywhere on me. We're gonna separate this. And then I'm gonna use my, and I rarely use one of these, but I'm gonna use my electric fillet knife. To go ahead and um, separate the meat from um, the skin. Let's start it with this knife, see if I can hold it here. And you don't want to bear down extremely hard because you want to try to leave some of that, um, the red meat on the skin side. So just kind of lightly feather it along. As you go, I cut my power on. Okay, here we go. 
keep it down but don't press don't not tons and tons of pressure because we'll have to end up cleaning that, cleaning that off and keeping pressure just not going down all the way spare ourselves from having to get all that red skin If that happens to you, then this is all you do, just kind of pull that skin off. All right, there we go. This is the skin side. I tried to prevent some of the red from getting on there. You lose a little meat by doing that, but it saves you from trimming in the end anyway. I'm gonna take these in and soak them in um, some cold water. I'm gonna cut this red line out, and that will be just, it'll be snow white uh, meat when it's sliced up in the steaks. All right, here's the belly meat. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it into um, two here. There we go. Belly meat, we're gonna to try to do it the same way. You can do it with your fillet knife, and I may have better success doing that. I've done got so used to using my fillet knife at this point. Um, instead of the electric fillet knife. There you go. Um, just kind of went light on the on the on the um, skin side. Uh, you can take this silver skin off if you want. I'm going to. There we go. That's a big belly meat steak right there. I could probably go a little thinner on this because there doesn't, there's no red meat on here. Take that chunk of meat off. Well, there you have it. Um, I'm no professional at it by any means. There's a lot of ways to do it. That's how I like it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I'll see you on the next one.